What is up everybody? We are here at Feed Online Supplies and you are now watching the first ever vlog on this channel. But before we start, allow me to introduce myself first. I am Mary and I'll be your host for today. So in this vlog guys, we are going to build an entry-level gaming PC. This might seem an overwhelming and complicated task but I swear to you guys, it's a lot easier than you might think. Now guys, most of the computers are being set up in a similar way, so you just have to consider the compatibility of the parts with each other. So sa ating mga aspiring gamers dyan, or dun sa mga gustong matutong mag-build ng PC on their own, this video is definitely perfect for you guys. So now guys, I'll take you through the basic steps needed to set up a computer. So we have here the parts ready. Let's start with the processor. It's the AMD Ryzen 5 3600. Is the AMD Ryzen 5 3600 good for gaming? Well, the answer is definitely yes. The Ryzen 5 3600 is worth it. It's a perfect mid-range CPU that should handle almost any game at 1080p. With 6 cores, 12 threads, and a boost clock of 4.2 GHz, it is capable to play most games. The Ryzen 3 600 is perfect for a mid-range build. For the motherboard, we have the B450 Aorus Elite Gaming Motherboard. Aorus Elite, a premium gaming brand powered by Gigabyte, delivers a full spectrum of gaming products ranging from gaming laptops, motherboards, graphics cards, mechanical gaming keyboards to many other gaming hardware and gears, offering the most extreme gaming experiences for enthusiasts worldwide. For the RAM, it's the Aorus RGB Memory DDR4 3200MHz. Explore the full spectrum of glorious RGB lighting with Aorus RGB memory and exclusive RGB-infused demo modules. Seamless RGB synchronization between the motherboard and other peripherals. Bring new concept to memory with stylish and luxurious design. Sa SSD naman, we're going to use the Kingston A400. It's 240 gigabytes. Kingston's A400 solid state drive dramatically improves the responsiveness of your existing system with incredible boot, loading, and transfer times compared to mechanical hard drives. Powered by a latest gen controller for read and write speeds of up to 500 MB per second, and this SSD is 10 times faster than a traditional hard drive for higher performance, ultra responsive multitasking, and an overall faster system. Also more reliable and durable than a hard drive. A400 is available in multiple capacities from 120GB to 1.92TB. So for the graphics processing unit or the GPU, ang gagamitin natin ay itong Gigabyte GeForce GTX 1660 Super Gaming OC. Ang haba! <laughs> It is integrated with 6GB GDDR5192 bit memory interface and has Winforce 2 times cooling system with alternate spinning fans with 90mm unique blade fans. And it also has a protection back plate that provides not only an aesthetical shape but also enhances the structure of the graphics card to provide complete protection. So for the storage guys, we have here the Western Digital Blue 1TB. Guys, with this one, you have to be very cautious because it's sensitive to it and we can't With better technology comes bigger storage needs. High resolution photos, 4K videos, music collections, cutting edge edge games, and other important files require a lot of storage. And handling all that media is just a snap with WD Blue PC hard drives. So guys, for the cooling fan, we have here the RGB cooling fan from Bad Wolf. And last, but definitely not the least, we have here the power supply unit from Hotkey. Yay! <laughs> so, tanggalin na natin tong motherboard dito sa pinaka-wrapper niya. Okay. Ready na yung motherboard natin. Ngayon, kakabit na natin yung processor. Unbox muna natin ito. Ito na siya, di ba? Ready na. Ngayon, kapag tinanggal natin siya dito, bawal natin hawakan yung bowl dito sa likod kasi sensitive siya. Hmm. 
So, ito. Itong part na to, guys, itataas natin siya. And then, hahanapin natin itong parang arrow dito sa gilid. Kailangan magmatch siya dito sa may lalagyan na niya. Meron namang guide, makikita nyo. Very easy lang siya. Kailangan nyo lang maging observant. Kailangan nyo lang talasan yung mata nyo para hindi kayo magkamali. So, inalapag na natin siya. So, nakikita natin dito yung parang arrow. Tapos, ito din yung arrow dito. Lalapat lang natin siya. So, ayan, na-shoot na natin siya. Swak na siya. Ilalock na lang natin. Next step, yan, tunan na natin yung Philips screw natin, tapos tanggalin natin yung bracket. Ayan yung kabilang side. After that, tatanggalin lang natin itong dalawa kasi ilalagay natin yung pinaka-fan na mag absorb ng init niya. So, ayan. Next step, ilalagay na natin yung Guys, ito, lalapat na natin yung fan. So, isi-screw natin siya diagonally. Kapag screw natin, haba 3 turns lang muna kasi baka umangat yung isang fan. So, kailangan muna natin to make sure na pa natin. Guys, ito, lang natin siya dito sa gilid. Always for the wrong How could I be so blind? I've been searching for this all my life. just my type. I've been looking for a boy who can treat. So next, itong ram. Open muna natin siya. Then, we'll open natin yung lock dito. Tapos, ito na lang. Ito din, mas open ko na. Para ready na siya. At ilalagay na natin siya ngayon dito sa RAM slot. So, ipupush lang natin siya dito. Okay. Next one, ito naman. Ito naman guys, ito yung demo module. Bale, for ano lang siya, for RGB effect lang siya. And last one. Ayan, 
Ayan, tapos na natin ilagay sa round slot to. Ngayon, magpo-proceed naman tayo sa next step. So, ready na yung case niya. Ilalagay natin siya sa loob. But first, tanggalin muna natin yung glass. Remove the screws from your pieces back or outside edges. Many pieces use two large thumb screws along one edge. Others use Phillips head screws. And some new models can be removed by only using your bare hands. So yeah, it really depends, you know. Since ATX yung size ng motherboard na ginamit natin, gagamit din tayo ng case na ATX. Okay, higa na natin siya. Since there are 7 holes dito sa motherboard natin, lalagyan din natin siya ng 7 na stand-up para mag-fit siya doon sa case natin. So, ilalagay na natin siya. For the next step, ikakabit lang natin yung wirings ng front panel. Okay? This is very easy, guys. Makikita nyo naman yung motherboard natin. Meron siyang label, so hindi tayo nahihirapan. Or, pwede naman natin siya ibasa dito sa mga butas. Now, ikakabit na natin itong GPU sa motherboard. So, unbox na natin siya. As you can see guys, dito sa likod na part ng case, makikita natin yung wire na cable management tayo para hindi masyadong makalat tignan. Tapos dito naman, tatanggalin natin itong slot para ilagay yung... Kapit lang natin siya. Screw lang natin siya dito. Tapin natin yung butas. Ayan. Tapos kahit dalawang screw lang, diagonally, pwede na. Tapos yung hard drive naman dito.
Okay na, tapos na siya. Tapos ibabalik na natin siya doon sa case. Lastly, ito ay kakabit na natin yung power supply niya. If you are using a non-modular or semi-modular power supply, now is the time to run the attached cables through the case to where they'll need to end up. Make use of cable management features if your case has them. But mankind won't be destroyed. The fact that you so guys, hindi pa pala yung power supply yung last kasi nakalimutan ko tong cooling fan natin. This is the RGB cooling fan. Aside from makukompleto na yung RGB build natin, magiging mas okay na rin yung cooling system natin since ilalagay natin siya. Six pieces yung meron tayo, so ikakabit na natin siya ngayon. These fans are engineered for superior cooling, performance, and flight operation with PWM control and customizable RGB lighting. And I swear guys, I really, really love it. Bali yung paglalagay ng fan guys, tatlong intake dito sa harap, tapos dalawang outtake sa top, and isang outtake naman sa likod na part. See guys, ready na yung monitor natin. Connected na siya dito sa ating CPU. So, ang kulang na lang natin is yung keyboard at yung mouse. Then, ready na siya i-boot up. Now that you know how to build a gaming PC, consider integrating your machine in a fully-fledged battle station. You can also learn how to get the most out of your build via advanced techniques like overclocking your CPU. If you've made it all the way through a guide, congratulations on finishing your build. The work, however, doesn't necessarily have to end here. The best thing about building your own gaming PC is that the job is never truly finished. As advancements in hardware continue to emerge, a custom PC's capacity for customization is nearly limitless, and your own rig can be as up-to-date as you desire according to both your needs and, of course, the budget. When you're next checking the recommended specs for a new game you want to play, keep these possibilities in mind. The PC 
you just build will serve as your foundation for all the gaming experiences ahead and fine-tuning your components is all part of the fun of owning it. So that's it guys, that's how we built an entry level gaming PC. Now if you're looking for a PC na merong mas mataas na specs, of course, Chipin Online Supplies also offers a high-end one. On the other hand, kung hindi naman kayo into gaming, halimbawa, nag-work kayo or study at home, Chipin Online Supplies also offers a cheaper one that will work perfectly for you. So guys, kapag umorder kayo sa Chipin, you have three options. First, kung by part lang, it's okay guys, if they deliver nila sa inyo yun ng sealed. Second, is kung ipapa-assemble nyo sila. Ang mangyari kasi, if you're not knowledgeable enough sa pag-build ng computer, halimbawa, medyo raid kayo, baka mamaya mapasabog yung bahay nyo, ganyan. The last option is the ready-to-use one wherein assembled na siya, also installed na rin yung operating system niya. So meaning, bag din deliver nila sa inyo, puupo na lang kayo dun sa upuan nyo, tapos pwede nyo na siyang gamitin. Wala na kayong dapat i-curry or i-install pa ng mga software. For additional information, and if you have any more questions, all you have to do is to visit their Facebook page that you'll see on the description box below. And I guarantee you guys na very responsive and accommodating sila sa customers nila. And lahat ng questions nyo, for sure, masasagot nila yan. If you find this video helpful, don't forget to give this a thumbs up and make sure to subscribe to their channel. Now guys, if you have any more questions or suggestions for our next vlog, let us know by commenting down below. We'll be happy to know your thoughts. And now guys, again, it's Mary, your host. We thank you for watching.